Ever since the Middle Ages, a true cult developed around the relics of Christianity's saints. People who set off on pilgrimages usually did so to reaffirm their faith, to ask for a miracle, or even to repent. Setting off on a journey and having to walk forced pilgrims to face tiredness, danger, hunger and cold, which were considered as a type of ordeal on the path to redemption. The main Christian pilgrimage sites were Jerusalem, where Christ was buried, Rome with the grave of St. Peter the Apostle, and Santiago de Compostela with a mausoleum dedicated to St. James the Apostle. Worshippers from all over France, and even from other nearby countries, walked the great distance to reach Santiago de Compostela. They favoured certain routes, which crossed famous worshipping sites. For example, pilgrims who followed the Vézelay route, also known as Via Le Mouvesensis, could stop over in Benevent to worship the relics of Bartholomew the Apostle. They could come via La Souterraine and continue on to Limoges, stopping over in Saint-Léonard de Nobla, an important pilgrimage site, or travel through Bourganeuf to reach Tulle and then Roquemador. Each pilgrim had his own itinerary and there was no single official Santiago de Compostela route. Santiago pilgrims, also known as jacquet, were traditionally equipped with a large stick called a bourdon, a saddlebag and a hat with a large rim. As proof of their journey, they would return with seashells collected on the beaches of Galicia. This explains why the symbol of pilgrimage is a scallop shell, St. James shell in French. Nowadays, the Camino de Santiago de Compostela is used by faithful pilgrims as well as by simple ramblers.